there's another question, um, and I will direct this to Dr. Khalil, um, more of a general question, I would say. It says, assuming someone has done well on a targeted therapy and has minimal side effects, at what point is progression enough to consider changing treatments? And then after Dr. Khalil, maybe Dr. Luo, you can also uh, mention what your thoughts are. Thank you. That's uh, that's a good question. I think we have to individualize. Like there are patients who do great on targeted therapy and at some point start having one lesion increasing in size and progressing and the rest of uh, their disease being stable. This is what we often uh, label as oligoprogression, which Dr. Duma, um, uh, Dr. Florence Duma uh, addressed earlier today. Um, in those situations, it might be best to do tar targeted um, uh, approach uh, treatments to that progressing nodule or lesion, um, things like ablation or radiation or local therapy like a surgery might be enough to take care of that um, particular progressing area while continuing to be um, on the targeted therapy uh, to suppress all the other um, areas and keep them under control, particularly if the patient is starting the drug well. Um, in other situations where you have multiple um, sites of disease increasing in size and, and, and clearly progressing, in that situation, I think the best thing to do is to interrogate that um, those progressing areas better. And when I say interrogate, either if it's safe to do a biopsy of one of these areas, try to figure out why we are having progression and what are some of the ways that um, the, the cancer is resisting the drug that's already on board. Um, and uh, the best way to do that is with a biopsy of the tissue. But if that's not possible, or if you don't have the luxury of time to do it, um, and the patient is symptomatic, you can even do a liquid biopsy and try to capture um, some of the some of the clues that we can get uh, as to what is causing or driving the multifocal progression that a patient may, may have, and then uh, addressing or adjusting the treatment accordingly. Yeah, I thought that was a wonderful answer by Dr. Khalil. I think a lot of it, um, just like she said, is we're trying to decide, is this um, just a few sites that are growing or is it all the sites that are growing? And I think if it's a few sites and there can be locally directed treatments, um, we might prefer to do that rather than switching therapies altogether. So thank you. 